Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to, you know, deal with what we have coming at us each and every day, being able to see the lessons and the blessings through, you know, every moment of our day as well. And know what the things we need to hold tight and the things that we need to let go of. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Uh, if you can just drop down a couple of lines, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos have been very informative to you and it gives you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and share. Or even with a fellow impact that are going through some really dark times and need confirmation validation towards their life journey please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, oh, you can barely hear that. Let me turn it up a little bit. Okay, those are not, it's not using any high-pitched beats, so I can go ahead and turn that up a little bit so you can be able to feel the vibes that I'm trying to send out. It's called, uh, the meditation I'm listening to today is called uh, Spiritual Cleansing Music, Transform All Negative Energy, Destroy Fear with Nine Healing Frequencies. And I will be posting that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't give up. Remember, there is strength and purpose behind the pain we carry. It is. I mean, there is times where, you know, I've had, matter of fact, give a big shout out to Lisa. Much love to you, uh, Lisa Williams. Um, she's like, how can you, you know, you still be an uplift towards people, even going through your own trials? And it's just like, I have had to tell myself, on a daily basis not even on a daily basis but often um there's a reason behind everything we go through uh things are sent to break us even though it's not it's, it's just that main example of you seeing whatever is head towards your way it will not break you you know there's times of grief there's time of hardship um you know things are a circle of life you know we lose people left and right which is a very sad situation but you know, we have to think about the people that has parted ways with us when the universe are, they're ascending on to bigger and better. They're no longer suffering. They don't got to deal with the BS that we got to deal with on this earth. <laughs> so, you know, they're in a good place and knowing that, that they're, you know, just because they have parted ways in the physical, they're always still with us as in guidance, you know, give us that reassurance that they're always there. They always send signs to us. So, I mean, it, it's just, they love the fact that you, you miss them, but the fact is they're always there. They don't want to see you in hardship and they don't want to see you in pain. You know, um, knowing there's bigger purposes out there for the things that we have went through, uh, knowing there's strength behind things that have been placed in your life. Uh, no, you know, and I've even said in my intro, we are not the product of what has went on in our life. We're not a product of our situation. We ascend from those situations. We ascend from all the dark places that, you know, darkness tries to hold tight to, you know, um, sometimes we hold on to our problems and trauma like security blankets and those are the things that need to be left in that closet you know we all get old enough to where we're not linus anymore from you know peanuts and we get old to you know we, we have to part ways with that security blanket of pain security blanket of trauma you know uh, we punish ourselves and you know there's sometimes you, you know you're like how can i be so stupid how did i do this you know you should never think you know you, you should make peace with yourself allowing yourself to forgive yourself first and foremost for allowing yourself to be able to hold on to things long you know for as long as we have being able to say you know what yes this has happened to me and yes it was a sad situation but I'm above all this you know I you know yes this has happened to me but I can't keep on letting it keep on letting it affect my life the way it has um being able to know 
there is a light at the end of that tunnel. Yes, it, that was a sad situation for me to go through and me experience, but I'm not that, you know, you're not that pain. You know, sometimes we wear pain on a t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or on a bumper sticker or across our head saying this has happened to me. But you really shouldn't because it's like, you know, um, there's strength and purpose behind the situations that you've been in. You know, sometimes we have to go through stuff just for us to be able to be that storyteller of letting people know, hey, I've been through this, but I can still be able to, you know, wake up in the morning and be grateful that I'm still living or being grateful to be able to have a smile on my face yes there are sad situations that go on but then you have to think of it it could have been a lot worse and you know and there's a lot of times that people have really been through some really messed up stuff that I couldn't even fathom out you know I give you you know kudos and uplift you know anytime I there are certain things I haven't been through and I got to be blessed for that you know yes the things that I've been through was very very tragic very tragic but for me to be able to put the situations that I've been through on um, display for other people to see to let you know yes these have these things have happened to me yes I was separated from family but the being able to be that that uh, ambassador or you know that that I forgot what they call that person that you know can be that that person to help a lot of the activists that's what I meant um, of a person that has been abused be able to help others along the way and know that you will heal from these situations yeah there's you've been through some really sucky stuff <laughs> yes you have been but there's always a purpose behind these things those are the things that's supposed to give you strength that you go through uh not allowing things to be that has been placed in your life you know it takes day by day you have to tell yourself every day i'm going to heal from this trauma I will heal from this trauma I will let go of this trauma you have to if you have to get in front of a mirror every day I am loved I am wanted my 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 person my ability matters you know um, any kind of affirmation that puts you uh, in a pleasant level of yourself you know some people think you know when you went through abuse it you give excuses maybe you know it's something I did I used to do that you know I used to ask God you know is there some reason why my family didn't love me is it something I did and it wasn't when I can really say it wasn't everybody has their choice on doing what they want to do everybody has their choice of you know seeing the things that they want to see you know there's you know there's time when my family is trying to you know convince people of stuff even though you're seeing it like something's not adding up you know you choose to go along with that and that's you know that's fine you know but you know I, I can look at my situation and say yes it has hurt me but you know what these things has really made me so much stronger than I ever thought I could imagine to be um, being able to help others that can relate to that kind of pain being able to say yes this has happened to me but I'm trying to figure out how am I going to get through this it's a daily basis this is a daily practice every day saying you know I'm gonna release these wounds that I try so faithfully to carry those wounds are not something you're supposed to carry with your life every day it's the the lesson behind the wounds that you have being able yeah I got this big scar but you know what this scar is gonna heal you know uh, don't keep picking at that scar because it's going to get infected. You know, you have to look at certain things like that. You know, uh, being able to be the advocate of knowing that, you know, you can overcome the trauma that you have experienced. You know, you have to tell yourself every day, I'm not a product of my situation. Um, I will heal from this. You know, it's not somebody else's journey to understand why I had to go down this path. I can't tell you. All I know is that I'm, you know, being able to tell somebody, hey, these are the things that I went through, but these are the things that I'm healing from as well. Um, I'm not a product of the things that I went through. I am not the things that I went through, but I can be the advocate of people, you know, telling you, yes, I've been through this, but I've healed from it, you know, and I can keep saying that. And it's just a beautiful blessing when I can sit back and see, you know, like I've told y'all before, you know, but I knew there's new, new subscribers, you know, I, I try to understand why did I have to go through this? Um, it's a sad situation to have to go through, but when I can make peace and give understanding, like, yes, this was sent to break you, but do you see how many people are hurting out there that 
you know, they, they have so many questions, but had less answers, but it's just like, you know, when I can see the blessings within the comments that I get on a daily basis, telling, you know, me telling, you know, people telling me, Rosalind, I'm allowed to see the things that I need to heal from, or, you know, you have helped me, you know, there are so many times that y'all don't know how I don't sit up here and tear it up because I didn't know I can impact somebody's life that like that. I didn't know I did. But, you know, when God tells me or universe tells me, hey, I need you to talk about this because there's somebody who's going through this right now or they need that sign to let them know that things will be OK, which they will. Because you have to really see, you know, are you going to allow yourself to keep going through that scenario over and over and over again, replaying that in your mind when you know that there is better things you can be, you know, playing in your mind about focusing on the things that, you know, I truly love things, focusing on things that make me happy focusing on things that are going to help me ascend into a bigger and better life you know not focusing on the things that brought me down I mean that keeps you at a low frequency you don't need to be in a low frequency you need to be at a high one you know and it's sad when I see people that choose to be miserable when that's not the way you know God wants us to be yeah there's things that happen in our life that are under not under our control but life is not meant for us to be able to control it. Only thing we can control is how we respond to things or how we react to it. That's the only thing you're supposed to be able to control. Um, knowing we get tested every day on a daily basis on just how, you know, okay, these things are being put in our lives, but how are you going to respond to that situation that's been put in your life? You know, if it's, and then the, the reward comes from after you've seen the lesson that has supposed to been taught to you through that dark situation, seeing the reward of being able to cut yourself away from those emotional chains that's been placed on you, you know, you know, knowing that key, you know, there are keys in the lock of that pain and knowing you can either hold yourself on that chain saying, help me, help me, or you can take that chain off your daggone leg and throw that lock away and say never no more. You know that you know i made a video over that never no more you're not supposed to sit up here you are not the the product of the situation that happens to you you are the product of the situation that at the aftermath of the situation that's happened to you the way you can you know jump up and say you know okay this is not me or you know you can put a smile on your face and say you know it could have been a lot worse than what it was you know uh seeing other people's situations and throwing it all on the table are you going to jump and try to take somebody else's issues or are you going to take your own because you already know what you dealt with you know people try to play a part towards your life but they don't know what the heck you had to do to get that position you know there's times that people do that you know um there's times that people hated me for the things that i've said about myself you know it is nobody can't question god's journey that he placed in my life you know you is sometimes it's not meant for you to understand and some people that you know they can't take the message if they're not ready, ready to see that, you know, when you're going down this path, sometimes we need that guidance, that that person that can tell us, you know what, we are going to be OK. You know, you have to be able to take that with a grain of salt and know that, you know, it takes every day to heal. It, it, you know, when when those old memories pop up, being able to not put emotion in that memory. To let that go you know emotions are gonna, i mean memory is going to pop up all the time but it's just how you are able to look back at it and just say you know what i don't hold emotion to that anymore i'm ready to release that i got bigger and better things heading toward my life that's what's important so the things that you're wanting in your life take that <laughs> invest yourself in that but don't invest yourself in the, the situations that has happened to you know that you will overcome anything that's been thrown at you but it's going to take time and don't rush that you know, but be able to see it for what it's worth. Be able to know that you're not, you know, you're not that situation you've been placed into. So I hope you were able to, you know, uh, resonate with this video. Let me know. Uh, give me your, your opinion about it. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. And have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know you're truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there, you know, wish, praying for your better days. So, uh, post notification shout out Donna Hardy, uh, Job for Life, and Lauren376. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild. Well.